Pisces, Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect. Huge shout out to my day one foundation subscribers. All of my new subscribers, thank you. You are genuinely appreciated. And if you are checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Pisces, this is a general energy check-in. It's not going to resonate with all of you, as there are a lot of you in the collective. You could check your sun or moon rising or your natal chart. That may help you to connect the dots, but it is. It either resonates or it doesn't resonate. Uh, click the notification button. If it doesn't resonate, it may not be your message today. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All of that information is in my description box. And thank you to all of you who have been booking me for personal readings. I am humbled and uh, truly, genuinely, sincerely appreciative. Okay, so Pisces. Cards have already been shuffled and drawn, as you can see. Let's see what we have here. We have Envy in reverse. It's funny, maybe this is a water sign theme because I just did Scorpio and they got the same thing. We have the Empress. Scorpio got the same thing. Hmm. Nine of Wands in reverse. Five of coins, two of cups, and the star. Okay, so it looks like you stopped focusing on other people and started focusing on yourself, Pisces, 150%. You started focusing on your damn self. You are in the empress, emperor energy you're managing your shit, you're handling your business. Mm -hmm. For some of you in this collective, you are a twin flame, uh, divine feminine, you are in your power. Mm -hmm. You are birthing new things. And you got to this, uh, this energy and so firm in your resolve to embody this energy of the empress who's focused on her motherfucking self. Mm -hmm. So this happened because you started to realize the truth of something. You may have been living in la la land with someone, Pisces, for a while, uh, but you're out of that now. I feel like you may have been uh, living in a, a state of delusion with someone thinking that uh, a relationship was a certain way when really it wasn't. Mm -hmm. Or wanting to only see what you want to see in a relationship instead of seeing what was actually there. But those days are over now, Pisces, because you're seeing things very clearly now. Mm -hmm. And on top of the fact that you're seeing things clearly, you're coming from a space of Empress energy. So you know what to do about it. Mm -hmm. You realize that someone was not giving to you and you were not getting anything from a relationship with someone, Pisces. Mm -hmm. There was no give and take. There was no support. There was no love. Mm -hmm. There was no healing in this relationship. Some of you are in a situation with someone where there were wounds it's like trying to put a band-aid over a gunshot wound. There were some serious things that happened in the relationship and they were not properly dealt with. They were not properly healed. So it, it's kind of like it, you're on eggshells with someone because you don't really know if you do something and it triggers them back to something and it's a big blow up and all these problems and, you know, or some of you were in a state of perpetually trying to uh, win someone's trust back or respect back or... You know, it's like they they said they forgave you, but you felt like you were trying to win over their forgiveness and redeem yourself for the rest of the relationship. Because this person just was not giving to you. You were the only one trying to make it work. And you saw that. Pisces, I feel like you, you may have eventually told somebody that you had no desire to be with them anymore. This relationship, it caused a lot of delays, or there were a lot of delays in it. There was a lot of problems, a lot of adversity and obstacles. It's like as soon as you think you get over one thing, there's something else. Or as soon as you feel like you, or you think you've healed one wound in the relationship, you realize that there's like 
four more mm -hmm, that need to be uh, disinfected. Yeah? So you told someone that you didn't want to be with them anymore. Mm -hmm. You also realize that, and, and this wasn't something that you just said, this wasn't a knee-jerk decision or a knee-jerk reaction to something. You didn't just get mad one day and said, oh, I don't want to be with you anymore. We're broken up. This took you a long time, Pisces, to come to this resolve that you did not want this person to be a part of your legacy anymore, nor were they, did you view them as someone that was a part of your destiny. Mm -hmm. You learned what you needed to learn from this person, and it was a hard pill to swallow because it really hurt when you realized that this person really did not have your best interest at heart. This person didn't even really love you. And yes, this was a soulmate. Now, uh, all relationships teach you something. So they're all karmic in a sense. You know, you can have a good karmic, a bad karmic. You know, karma doesn't necessarily mean bad, right? Karma's only bad if you do bad shit. That bad shit's going to happen to you. You know, but if you're the good person in this, you know, in this dynamic, you don't have anything to worry about. But you let someone, you let a karmic soulmate go. You didn't see something about this person, Pisces. You didn't see who this person really was. And that's what I felt like. I felt like for a while you were in this delusion that this person was a certain way or you just... You just wanted to see them in a certain light so bad, so you did. Even though they were showing you who they were the whole time. Mm -hmm. And you weren't seeing that. That this person was, they're not a very nice person. They show up as 12 of water in reverse. This is someone who doesn't care, really care about people. Like they don't, they're not connected to their emotions. You could have been with someone who is emotionally unavailable. Mm -hmm. Or emo emotionally distant. You know, or even emotionally breadcrumbing, right? They give you just enough to make you think that there's something happening, but underneath the surface, it's not that deep with them. It's not that deep. Mm -hmm. You didn't see that someone was just like, uh, they would talk about you a lot, you know, and they also, this person was not very bright. They would take a lot of bad advice from people. Mm-hmm. Because they weren't someone that listened to their intuition because they weren't connected to themselves. There's a big disconnect with this person you're with. And it's internal with them. They're not in touch with their feelings. And you didn't see that, Pisces. I feel like you didn't see that till like the last, the 11th hour when you're just like, I need to do something about this now. I, I need to make this decision. Mm-hmm. Because uh, there's two groups of you here. Some of you, you leaving this person out in the cold. You meet someone else because of that. You meet another soulmate, a higher vibing soulmate. Mm -hmm. And you didn't see that letting go of this person uh, in the past. Some of you, this is just recent past as well. But you didn't see that you needed to let go of this person so that you could move forward in your life with someone else because you didn't see who they, the person really was. You didn't see their real character, right? And I just think that you weren't in your truth. I feel like that because, look, you have perception in reverse. Her sort of truth is upside down. You weren't in your truth about who this person really was, right? It's like a, an understanding of someone's energy, someone's character, personality. Mm-hmm. You weren't really seeing that. You were seeing what you wanted to see. And it wasn't real. But some of you, you leaving this person allows you to meet someone else who is a better match for you. Yeah. This person, there's no fighting. There's no questioning that this is the right person for you. Mm -hmm. And then there's another group of you where... You let go, you letting go of this person allows you to come into union with yourself. Mm -hmm. And, and, and it's, it's teaching you how to step back and look at things within yourself. 
things that you need to work on within yourself so that the next relationship that you get into is actually one that is a wish fulfillment for you, right? There's no fighting. There's no question that you made a good decision. Mm -hmm. Because you went back and forth a lot with this person, uh, Pisces, if you should stay with them or if you should leave. It took a very long time for you to come to this decision that it's over and you mean it this time. There's no getting back together, it's over. Because you did love this person, this person was a soulmate. Mm -hmm. And you did view this person as wish fulfillment, as happiness. Mm -hmm. You did love this person very much. Hmm. Okay, Pisces, let's see what your guidance and advice from spirit is. So I pulled a card from my Whispers from Within Oracle deck, and it's Do the Thing. So avoid procrastinating today. That's what I was feeling for you, uh, Pisces, that some of you are just, you are going back. Some of you, this has already happened, and you're cur some of you are currently going through this right now. So you have to, you're going back and forth about what you should do. But you're starting to focus on yourself now, and that's good. You make better decisions when they come from uh, within you rather than externally. Make a confident, well-informed decision today. Some of you, this is your day. If you want a confirmation, if you could need to stay with someone or not, after listening to this reading, make an informed decision. Mm -hmm. Set reminders in your calendar to take care of business. What do you need to do? Pisces, there's something. Remember, you're in Empress mode. So what do you need to get done? Stop procrastinating. Get it done. Ask others to help you get started on a big task. If there's something that you know you need help with, you know, as uh, emperor, empress energy, you're good at delegating. Share the responsibility. If everyone's going to benefit, then everybody should have some responsibility. Pisces, continue working on a long-term project goal or dream. As, as I said, in this mode, a lot of you are uh, business owners, entrepreneurs, uh, building mini empires for yourself. Right? So it's continue to stay focused. Don't procrastinate. The, the long-term goals that you have, the long-term intentions that you have set, they are on their way. They are being manifested. So you have to stay focused. And release fears towards an outcome of a situation. Trust and faith and your intuition. Right? It's a perfect mixture for success. You just do your part and allow the universe to do the universe's part. Like it's co-creation at its finest. Right? So this is all just learning, Pisces. Because Spirit also wants you to go for it. Go for it. Just do it. This is pretty much <laughs> confirmation of the same thing. Just go for it. Go for it passionately. Whatever you want now. This is your time. Now is your time. Make your decision and then make your moves, Pisces. You're an emperor, empress energy. You can do that. That's who you are. Because you're focused on yourself now, as you should be. So Spirit wants you to just confidently, passionately move towards what it is that you really want in your life now that's going to create happiness, true fulfillment, satisfaction, mm -hmm. emotional contentment within yourself, happiness in all areas of your life. Okay, Pisces, this is what I have for you. If any of this resonates, smash that like button for me. If not, another time, click the notification button. And with that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.